as the daughter of the legendary sugar miner, Passion has music running through her veins. Growing up surrounded by the sights and sounds of the music industry, she honed her craft and developed a style that's both deeply rooted in tradition and refreshingly modern. Passion is proving herself to be a force to be reckoned with. Her high energy performances have wowed crowds from Jamaica to Japan, and her music has resonated with fans of all ages and backgrounds. Now in the mix, we'll delve into her music inspirations and her journey as a reggae artist. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Speechless. You know, it's my first time here. Oh, really? oh, welcome, nice. welcome, oh, welcome to Nationwide. Yes, thank Nationwide you for having me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let, let's get into it now. Tell us about your earliest memories of growing up in the music business. I would say I was born in it, you know. Yeah. Uh, my first memories growing up at Youth Man Promotion, you know, where my dad had a sound system that would play every Thursday night. You would see Garnet Sill, Tenasar, Junior Reed, all of them, Tony Rebel coming through. You know, I was just a little girl. On Fridays, normally, we wouldn't want to go to school because Thursday night, the whole way up, I watch where I go on, you know, as a little girl. So my earliest memories, I would say, from Youth Man Promotion, you know, being that my dad is sugar minor, uh -huh. we grew up around it. Yeah. yeah, amazing because can I just imagine being a child and you see all these legends and right. not even realizing right like what was really taking place right. and know you turn a big big woman and you have to tell yourself no sir wow. okay. this did that go on right. <laughs> yeah. like, like this was taking place but um how does it feel right to be carrying on your father's legacy in the music industry sometimes it's a little bit pressuring you yeah. know because i'm really a dj Mm -hmm. After now I started practicing a little singing, you know, most time people would say, your father, I sing, you need for sing, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. I have to be myself and daddy make me be myself, yeah. you know, whatever I wanted to do, you didn't. Your skills and your stage presence, how did that help you though? Okay, touring with daddy, he's a very oh, good performer. <laughs> <laughs> he's a very, very good performer, and I watch him, and I used to sing background vocals oh, for him. Oh, he did? Yeah. And so you can sing. A little bit, a little bit, yeah. just a little bit, you know? A little bit. And, you know, just watching him, how he performed, he was just such a naturalist. Like, yeah. it come naturally. He just loved it. So, um, people say I perform good on stage, you know? So, <laughs> I think I get that from him, yeah. you know, yeah. being that, you know, he's my dad, and I watch him, he's my first... Um, singer, my singer, yes. you know, the first mommy say he used to sing to our belly Aww. when she was pregnant. So I think I get it from that. And, and so apart from your dad being one of your first inspirations, what are, who are some of your other early musical um, inspirations, people you looked at and, and rather sort of pulled from to make passion? I would say the musicians that I grew up seeing, mm. you know, um, Tenasa was the first one who gave me a microphone. I can remember Probably I was maybe seven or so. Yeah. So every Thursday night, they would string up youth man promotion, sound system. So in the early section, you know, they would be microphone check, test, and tenor song, lift me up. I was so small uh -huh. and gave me the mic and I said my name. I'm <laughs> here like echo and I'm <laughs> like, yes, what? Oh. So every Thursday now, me want the mic. Yeah. Every Thursday. And this is how it starts from yeah. your career. <laughs> yeah, man, when you're so I would up, say, you, get that, you get that taste of it. Yeah, man. So tenor so I'm a singer, you know, um, Junior Reed, mm -hmm. people like them, they were messy first and you know um wow. i love rita marley the eye trees mm. as a little girl daddy would have to buy me pure green gold and red dress mm -hmm. you know even on one of his album um time longer than rope i'm on that album cover in my little green gold and red dress yeah. long time me i said mommy lock up my ear no she know i lock up my oh, ear long have you been growing your you since really i was in long. school long time i know my old <laughs> <laughs> barely you know but right. she, she she make me do it my and some of the inspiration you know behind all of these themes, positive, positive themes, by the way? Well, you know, I grew up listening to positive music. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in the house, in the home, it was just pure positive music. The Bob Marley, the Dennis Brown, yes. and Dennis Brown was so close to dad. You know, so seeing all those people and listening to them, you know, I don't stray too far from what I grew up seeing. Yeah. You know, so I tried to keep it clean and, and you know, more time I would go to voice or producer and they'll be like, change a line the man, no man, just put in that man at that around the place. Mm -hmm. And for me I'm like, you know, I'm Sugar Minot's daughter. Mm -hmm. You have a responsibility. Yeah. I, I you know what I my song now I got boss. I, I have to 
keep to keep to the roots. Yeah. You know, sugar my daughter and I have to represent I have two daughters myself mm -hmm. and everything I do they follow. Yes. You know, they look up to mommy and mommy said this and mommy said that and mommy said don't do this. Yes. So it's like I have to be careful of what I do. You know, and, and I mean I have a problem doing the positive music. We need more of it. Yeah, because I was just gonna ask you if, the, if, if that's a struggle for you because I know sometimes you know you, you yeah you yes you do grow up in in this sort of environment where you know it's strictly reggae and it's very positive but there might be another like a side that you would want that be like a dance and I said look at yeah me do dance all music you know um for those who know me back then as fire passion mm. you know after my dad passed I decided to use the name Minot because yeah. him, as I said Minot for the pioneer and I'm like no I mean a fire passion thing me I do because <laughs> you know you're trying to get yourself out there not right. just as oh a sugar mine at that or she riding off of the mine out right. which you can't get away from it because yeah. it's who i am yeah. it's my it's last name <laughs> yeah. you know and i have to represent so but i was going by fire passion mm -hmm. i was on the applause rhythm snow cone rhythm them time oh you're so grudgeful you know yes. charm paul that rhythm was big and it was fire passion and most person didn't know that i was sugar mine at daughter because i was just saying a fire passion my name you know <laughs> like you know when i, when I fuse that <laughs> My eyes, they on the prize when you better be wise. Cause when you get the bread, you have to make it stretch in the size. Anyway, you see Mr. Poverty, no left him alive. When you see Mr. Perseverance, please take him advice. But no, said them did want me feel, said them could get free rejoice. But look how far me, I step on the rise. Yo, we have to station. Till the trial and the tribulation. Yo, we have a hand to laugh from here. Bon hustler from day one, one we have to stay strong, yes, I. militant. <laughs> I love your delivery. We Thank definitely you. can feel your passion. How would you describe your style of music? Somebody say, passion, what kind of music you do? I just do music. Yeah. I don't put myself in a box. I won't say I'm a dancehall artist. I won't say I'm a reggae artist. Give me any beat and I'm ready for it. Sure. Do you write your own songs? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I love to talk about creative um process yes. and things like yeah. that so when you go in the studio somebody give one beat somebody said to you say all right then hear the track here what is the first thing that comes to your mind is it a melody is well, it the I played, words i played first yeah and if i listen to it for like 20 minutes mm -hmm. i'm not feeling anything that really didn't enough for me. 20 minutes? Yeah, like, I'm not going to struggle to find something for it. Yeah. If the rhythm is not talking to me. If it not grab you. Yeah, normally yeah. it speaks to me, you know. I just find a melody like this because it's talking to me. But if I have to listen to it, I'm going to say, tomorrow I'm going to listen to it again. I'm just not finding it. We're not connecting. Then not yeah, then so I'm going to tell the producer, send me something else. Right, that's that noise. <laughs> that's, that's that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a good rhythm, yeah. but it's just, you know. It's just not but I understand. I know you're yeah. Rhythm. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about um, your stage performance. Tell us about one of your most memorable moments on stage. I would say the first time my dad called me on reggae sumpfest. Mm -mm. That's a what long was time that? ago. <laughs> it's a long that? time. I was a teenager. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you, I'm old now, so... Talking about passion, no passion. You've also got a passion for passion and, and, and fruits and like, making juices, right? Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk a little bit about this next single from you, Success. Success. Yeah, man. After big up Rama, this is Golden Rama, which is um Rory's from Stone Love, his yeah. son, mm. Rama. Everybody's oh. supposed to know Rama. Just came from foreign and him say, yo, I have a beat, you know. And I'm like, Rama, leave me alone. We just fly in, you know. He <laughs> yeah. said, no, man, come in at the studio, man. People them ready for you. One thing, him always just push me and it's like, yeah. push me, push me. So as I'm going there, I hear the beat. When them see me, them see glory, them see success. Sure. That just come to me and I'm like, all right, I'm ready. That's so like a full sound. Don't it. Kevin, <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, and, and we stayed in the studio the entire night. Yeah. So it was done that night. That's very good. Yeah, and in the morning we had sip tea and it's like, I could hear it again one night. All right. Nobody no go home, everybody in the studio. We're going to give our listeners a taste of success. Here we go. Muma, where did they? I'm glad you come back for your space, you know. The business need you. Passion, my now. 
me You better make a little room They suck at the crew They are too You should have known the rules They are with the fool They are too Can't even lift your shoes They are so the pool They are too Up on you We pass shit down Them soon They are too TV people say I'm me Of the crown I who say I you Every single thing Me say me do My proof say me do A couple interview Figure do that choose They are too Gone pan tour Everything sure Although it's been a minute We in it Me see the winning Still a killing You see me I wear the crown They go get it Give me I feel me Who are the body screen The title that they give me Although it's been a minute We in it Me see the winnings Still a killing Success one, success right yeah. through. Yes, I like love that it. one actually. Like it. Produced love, love, by love. me. Produced right, by you. Right. Yes, because okay. I've gone into production. Sometimes you can't wait on these producers. Yeah, yeah sure they show you. You have to take things in their own hand. Yes. And their own things. But speaking of producing though, can you just kind of share with us um, some of your upcoming projects or collaborations that you're working on? Well, my production is Minot Movements Production. Mm -hmm. You know, Branch Off, a youth man promotion, Black Roots, mm -hmm. my dad. I'm working with my brother, um, Blah Minot, you know, the younger generation that's coming up, you know, creating that avenue for them so they don't have to go out there. We have our own studio. Mm -hmm. So Minot Movement Production, that's what's happening now, you know, with some younger artists. Some of them I'm eyeing from, you know, the Boombox. Every Friday we have Boombox, oh, Free yes. Flow Fridays. On our base, Youth Man Promotion, mm -hmm. you know, where a lot of young artists come and them bad, them really, really bad. Yeah. So now we're thinking that, you know, every week them come and them bad. What are we doing for them? Mm -hmm. You know, saying that to Aritala. We got my team, Boombox team, no matter what, we're still there strong and I hold up. Yes, yeah, so um, we're just trying to take even two out of, you know, every Friday and give the, and record them. That's good. Nice. That's really yeah. good. Really helpful. All right, Passion, let's talk about I see it, Mia, where more come from. Oh. You're on the lineup. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm picking you up at, you know, that time. Yeah, one. awesome. You know, there. <laughs> I'm going definitely to represent. I think this is my fourth cent, Mia, where come from. Mm -hmm. you know, um, where is it going to be? Grace in sports <coughs> complex. All right, okay. Tonight, tonight. Showtime start at 6, gate open at 5. Gate open at 5. What's that performing? Me? Yeah. I'm performing about 11 o'clock. So the people don't go to early thing. Sure it's, it's an early thing. Yeah, and the show always full up from 7. Mm. From 7. So don't watch it when they say, oh, you're going on at 11. You feel like, yo, but nobody not go out there. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, it's the return of St. Mary we come from. Yeah. Let's stress on that. Um, yes. It's been in hiatus for a while. Mm -hmm. So I know the people them coming out in them numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are excited. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Big up Lady G. She's on it. You know, she a veteran in other yes. things. You know, uh, holy power, respect and love for Lady G. So she'll be on it tonight. You don't want to miss it. Exciting, exciting stuff. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mm -hmm. We enjoy talking yes. with you. Tell thank us you. where people can find you on social media, where they can stream your music. I'm on Instagram, you know, still the Facebook, 